afternoon. Welcome to the Swamp Gum RV. Good afternoon, Mr. Cameraman. How are you doing? Good. We're going to shoot some scenes today and we're going to talk about the mods that you should never make to your 400EX. Uh, most of this video was reshot because we had shot it over the 4th of July weekend. And uh, due to the sun beaming into the garage, we looked like Orange Man Bad. So uh, we decided to come in, close the garage door, and just retake some of these. Um, so we're gonna have some fun with it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, you get some pointers and uh, we'll see how it goes on take two. So we've said it before and we'll say it again that the mods that we put on this four wheeler are not necessarily mods that we recommend for you. These are mods that we've enjoyed ourselves, uh, that we benefit from. However, the mod we're going to talk about today uh, is a mod that we absolutely do not recommend that uh, that you perform on your 400 VX, namely because uh, it costs about $70 and it saves you literally one step. It's cool as hell, but it saves you one step and that's taking your back plastics off. Uh, so what we've done is we've gone to NOCO and they make a genius trickle charger that permanently attaches to the battery of the 400EX or whatever, what, whichever four-wheeler you've got. And uh, so we attached the NOCO genius trickle charger inside the battery box, the aluminum battery box from CFM Performance. And then we drilled to the back of the uh, battery box, we drilled to the back of this uh, Pelican case and we uh, install the NOCO uh, plug-in right here and basically what that what that does is it makes it so that you can take an extension cord and when you get on writing you want to you want to put a trickle charger on your battery just plug it straight in and it's golden that's all you got to do uh, is it uh, is it really gonna save you that much time no uh, is it cool as hell yeah it is and so for 70 bucks it's something that we wanted to do but it's not necessarily something those lights are flashing. A few moments later. So these are, again, this is not something that we're recommending for you. Uh, we don't recommend that you guys blow your money on stuff the way that we do on this 400DX, but you've got to understand uh, this particular 400DX right now, we've got uh, somewhere between 12 and $13,000 invested in it. Um, and so we've gotten completely carried away. Uh, obviously not all of those mods are things that you're going to want to do on your 400DX, but uh, these are things that we've done and my idea in showing you these videos is that you'll get small pointers little things that you want to try uh, some of them are going to be the expensive things some of the cheaper things some of them affordable some not uh, but this was something fun that we've enjoyed and uh, we'll see how it holds up that we'd show it off a little bit so when you put the noco genius uh, charger on where you can just plug it straight in from the back basically the only step that you're saving is this singular step of just taking the plastic what the hell? <laughs> Alec, have you been drinking and riding again, son? And Voodoo Ranger, what is this devil juice? Good grease. Juicy IPA. We're going to have a talk about that. In the meantime, so, all right. Uh, Alex, not really. He's, he's, uh, he's 13. He's not been drinking and riding. Um, but uh, so when you plug this uh, NOCO charger in, this is how we've got it mounted inside the, 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 uh, the battery box. And um, so it's got a clip that screws on and then the NOCO charger just goes right into that clip, just like that. Um, right now it's charging, so you'll see the, the red light flashing. Uh, when it's fully charged, it turns green. It mounts onto your battery, uh, just permanently screws onto your battery. And uh, so you saw how difficult it was to take the back plastics off. Really, that's the only step that you're saving in having this option. Uh, but it's kind of fun, kind of different, something that we absolutely do not recommend for you haters who are going to say that's a crazy idea. Yeah, it is a crazy idea. So it's $13,000 on a on a $1,000 400EX. The whole thing, this whole thing is extreme. It's crazy, and we absolutely do not recommend really any of the mods that we make here for anyone. Um, this is something that we're doing for ourselves, that we're having fun with, uh, and we, continue, we, we intend to continue to ha have fun with, but... Uh, uh, hopefully we give you guys some ideas and some pointers and some things that you run with and, with and some things that you just say that we're, we're nuts and who would spend that kind of money on an old beat up 2002 model four wheeler. 
So that's what it looks like inside the box. That's it, folks. Uh, tune back into the Swamp Gump Harpy. Uh, also, you guys, tune in to, uh, uh, to the next season of the Swamp Gump Harpy, the next episode of the Swamp Gump Harpy, where we're going uh, to show Alex new ride. Uh, we've got a new 400EX that we've been working on. And honestly, we've been working on this 400EX for a couple of years, and we've run into some, uh, some issues, and we think we've just about got those issues resolved. Um, and uh, it's having some motor work done, having the top end rebuilt, getting it back from the shop, we hope, this weekend. When we get it back, we're going to shoot a video of that, and then we're going to take this and Alex's new ride uh, out to New Mexico, and we're going to shoot some drone footage of us taking those, those two uh, builds that we've made out into the desert, and we might do some camping and just have a bit of fun with it. Uh, go check out... If you get a chance to check out the Swamp Gump Harpy's new Instagram page, uh, it's kind of a slow start with Instagram, but uh, we're going to try to be consistent with posting uh, pictures of what we're working on, things that we're doing, and maybe some upcoming videos, like a preview of some upcoming videos that we have. And so, as always, thanks for tuning into the Swamp Gump Harpy, and we've got some fun content coming up. We'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.